So here we are at our Bay Beach project, just outside of Fort Erie, Ontario. This passive house is seeking certification and we'll take a tour of the outside and then we'll go inside. So the garage is completely separated thermally from the building envelope. Here's the front entrance. There you can see the mini split heat system. Here we go into the home. And as we come in the front foyer, we have a little seating bench. There's the window. Uh, this is a Passive House certified door. It's a Cal door uh, supplied by VETA windows. The windows here are triple pane VETA. Here we are in the main hallway. To the right here is the master bedroom. So this was designed to be primarily on the ground floor for aging in place. Uh, there are some bedrooms upstairs. There's a walk-in closet that extends through the bedroom to the other side. And then it becomes a nightstand and it is part of your wardrobe. Here we have the master ensuite, double sink. On the left here, we have closet space. On the right, this is a small laundry closet with a condensing dryer and a small load wash, and a little laundry sink. Just past the laundry closet on the right is a powder room. And then through there is the mechanical room. So here we have the mechanical room. There you can see the hot water heater which is a heat pump water heater, um, which does mean there's additional heating load because uh, it draws from that to heat the water. Uh, there's the uh, hot water reclamation. And this is the ERV up top there and the associated ductwork. So here we come into the main space, little dining area. It's one large area, the two story height. A large slider out to the patio. A kitchen by VIP systems, or the island is anyways. And then it goes up to the loft up there. The gallery. And there's our dining area. And up to the side. And here we go up to the second floor, which contains two bedrooms and the loft space in a small office nook for a desk and a powder room. So here's one bedroom. They're both exactly the same. It's mirrored and the windows out. Again, these are triple pane windows, tilt and turn. There's the turn. And here we go, there's the office nook and the main double height space. Uh, that is a big ass fan. That's literally the name of the company, not a joke. And here we go around the main space. The wooden lights that you're seeing uh, are by A line, AA line uh, out of Toronto, um, all LED and quite beautiful lights. So here's the main space on the second floor, looking down towards the kitchen and back towards the office nook and bedrooms. If we go outside here on the second floor, here we are looking back at the upper level window wall. A little bird's nest there. So here we are at the main space, there's a little seating area. And we can go out to see the south facade. We'll head back outside and we'll take a look at what the exterior out here looks like. This is the south facade. And as we can see, we've got quite a window wall. We've got an extended overhang and side wing walls in order to 
prevent overheating in the summer as this is the directly south so uh, there's potential for overheating if we don't shade properly and here we have our west facade and patio uh, which is all tarped up for the winter as you can see we've got a large slider uh, the tracks that you see above there uh, and above the main entrance, they're for screens that slide across that have not been installed yet. We're back at the front of the building now. This is the north facade, as you can see, zero windows. Actually, what you can see up top there slightly is the attic hatch. Um, so there's access to the attic above the thermal envelope, outside of the airtight envelope, etc. And here we have our east facade, a few windows on the upper story. One on the lower, there's our heat pump, the external unit, and then here we come around again to the southern facade. It's a very straightforward shape, basically an extruded <laughs> house shape. And there we are.